We reach out to you once again to express our respect and admiration to those who have peacefully come together over the past two months in order to save our society. Too many of our brothers and sisters live in fear of those they should be able to trust. Being American is not defined by skin color, for we are all human. True democracy is blind to race, and freedom is for all or none. That said, we are proud to inform you that this entire month is Ferguson October. Why? Because too many innocent Americans are being shot and killed by their own public servants, too many police officers and departments practice racial profiling, and our peace officers should not look like combat soldiers. Why should this matter to you? Because this is a national security threat. There are many factions coming together over this issue. Not all of them have a peaceful agenda. The more citizens feel abused, the more they act out. Though the vast majority of people will do so peacefully, with rising numbers, the odds of drastic and violent actions grow to an uncontrollable level. If this level is reached the whole country will feel the aftermath. More people are terrorized and killed by police in our own country than those by foreign terrorist organizations. Our crooked cops are the real homegrown terrorists. These crooked cops are so proficient at using fear as a tool, that the few honest cops all too often feel there is nothing they can do about it. The righteous people have and will have their say. They will not yield until justice is served. Yet some of those who represent us, and those who fund them, would like to see things go too far. They would like to see this issue blow up, in order to justify a major crackdown on all of our liberties. These are the same people who keep us in perpetual war, and when there is no war for them to manifest, they turn on us. So we need to step it up. We the people of America have to add as much weight to the side of the righteous as we can muster, so that our representatives, who do support freedom and democracy, will do what is needed to push back the evil in our government. We must show solidarity with the peaceful people gathering in Ferguson and all over America. We urge all of you to join the peaceful demonstrations. Tell our police and political representatives that this is their chance to show whose side they are really on. The true power of democracy is understanding and communication, not fear and bullets. Good night, and good luck.